on Five News. New vaccine hopes with the most effective trial results yet. So Boris Johnson is forced to self-isolate after meeting with an MP who tested positive. Hello and welcome to Five News. I'm Danny Sinha. Perhaps one of the things helping you get through this lockdown is the hope of a vaccine. Well, there's been more good news today as another global producer said its jab offers 95% protection against COVID-19. The bad news, though, is that the UK government hasn't pre-ordered any doses yet. However, one vaccine that is being developed here has now reached its final stages of testing, with scientists looking for thousands of volunteers for its trials. Here's our health correspondent, Catherine Jones. Well, it hasn't been such a positive time in Downing Street, with turbulent times as the Prime Minister's top advisers walked out. And then hopes of a fresh start were dashed when Boris Johnson announced he's self-isolating again after holding a meeting with an MP who's since tested positive for coronavirus. Our chief correspondent, Tessa Chapman, reports. Tessa joins us now from Westminster. And as you said, Tessa, crucial time for Brexit negotiations. In the US, the number of people who've had coronavirus has now reached 11 million, having gone up by 1 million in the last week. There have been nearly a... Next, it could be described as the most expensive taxi in the world. For the first time, a full team of astronauts is being carried to the International Space Station in a capsule made by private firm SpaceX. Founded by entrepreneur Elon Musk, its contract to deliver NASA crew to the floating lab is worth £2.3 billion. Experts say it's a new era in space travel. Here's Alan Jenkins. Coming up on Five News, see you after the break. Hello and welcome back. At a time when kindness is needed more than ever, it is an unfortunate fact that bullying has increased during this pandemic. A survey by the Anti-Bullying Alliance has found that a third of children in England have experienced bullying in the last six months. With schools suspended for long periods, more of it happened via social messaging and social media. Vincent McAvinney reports. Wrexham Football Club has been bought by unusual new owners, Hollywood actors Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. The National League team is set to be become a global force, according to the new pair in charge. Well, just well, in other sporting news, Lewis Hamilton is being called the greatest Formula One driver ever after winning his seventh world championship in Turkey yesterday. It brought him level with the legendary Michael Schumacher, but he has more race wins, more podiums and more pole positions than anyone else. He says it's the pinnacle of his life. So far, that is. Simon Vigard takes a look at the extraordinary sportsman. Finally, residents of Abergalia, North Wales, have had some unusual visitors come to town recently. The cast and crew of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Well, with space so, or travels bans in place, for the first time ever, they've had to swap the exotic Australian jungle for a chilly Welsh castle. So, how does it feel for a small market town to become the focus of 9 million TV viewers? Catherine Jacob has been finding out. Now, I just want to bring you an update on the Moderna vaccine we talked about at the start of the programme. In the last few minutes, the Health Secretary has confirmed that the government has now secured five million doses in time for spring, subject, of course, to it being approved. So that's all we have time for. Claudia Eliza has five news tonight at 6.30. From all the team, though, have a lovely evening. Good night.